What's going on guys, Guy here, and today we'll be seeing if Log Bay is still viable in the current meta. Now this is a deck I used to use all the time. It is a main Goblin Barrel as the main DPS for the tower damage, but it also had so much more. This was the perfect deck and I got so many trophies with it. As you can see, we also had the Valkyrie for a tank, the Electro Spirit is a very good small unit killer and distraction card, plus a good cycle card, and we had the Dark Goblin for our main air defense with the Inferno Tower being the best defense tower in the game in my opinion, so we will be seeing if this still works today. So the first opponent we are going to be facing is Oscar, and we're going to be testing out this. Now this is a beautiful starting hand because I can start out with the Goblin Barrel and hopefully his log won't be in a starting to hand, and it looks like it wasn't, and I'm able to immediately get some chip damage with the Goblin Barrel, and no big deal with the Giant Skeleton as the Inferno Tower is so good it should be able to take it. And perfect, he's adding even more elixir value to this Inferno Tower because it should be able to take out both of them with no problem. But, okay, he's got a Baby Dragon, no big deal, the Inferno Tower will easily take out the Giant Skeleton and the baby dragon we just have to spend a little extra elixir on this wizard and bam we just had a big positive elixir trade we're getting more chip damage on the tower with our dark goblin the dark goblin is huge being able to snipe towers all the way from the bridge and we're gonna have another positive elixir trade with the golden knight and the valkyrie combo you can really see the defense shining already in this deck tower to be damaged quite a bit which is very nice because we can still go for either tower for that we want to and as long as we don't let him touch our towers, we should be very good. So this Dark Goblin doesn't actually get a hit, unfortunately, but these guards will go to town on the other side. Perfect, and both of these towers are chipped down very nicely. So we're going to try to chuck the Goblin Barrel and get a little bit more chip on that tower while he's distracted. And perfect, to place the Golden Knight, and if he's dumb, he will use the ability and we'll get even more value out of this. We'll get the Electro Spirit down, so that way when he dashes on that, he won't dash on our Valkyrie, and we should be able to have a very good time to push with the Valkyrie. And maybe this Dark Goblin will be able to take out the Baby Dragon. Now, the Dark Goblin is a very underrated card, in my opinion, because it does so much damage, and it is still able to do quite a bit of damage all the way from back here on the bridge. Look at that. He's got two shots right on that tower, which for this deck is huge. All you need is just chip, chip, chip down that tower. And look at this. We can now throw guards and goblin barrel to his tower. And yep, guaranteed damage again. This deck and log bait, I still think, one of the most viable decks. Maybe we'll actually rock at this. Yes, we will. Hopefully it gets down in time to kill all of that. Doesn't kill the Golden Knight, but that's okay because this Valkyrie and Dark Goblin should be able to take out everything. I'll put the Dark Goblin behind the tower actually because I want the tower to tank the Dark Goblin. And I don't think I need that log, but I got a little scared there. And now the Dark Goblin should maybe take out this wizard or at least lower it. And he plays it down to me. Like, perfect. So now this Goblin Barrel is just going to be able to terraform his tower. And perfect. Now it is within rocketing range. This is where the rock card you really need in this deck because in double elixir, when he's able to defend a lot, even with this Mega Knight, all I have to do is toss down Inferno Tower. And now it is a guaranteed victory for me because the Inferno Tower can easily defend a Mega Knight. And boom! Rocket for the win. Log Bait is amazing. I'm still having quite a bit of luck with this. Look at that. Easily. You're not going to get many three crowns. These one crowns will be rolling in using these decks. Starting the second match here against Parth, or I'm not really sure how to say that name, but we're going to instantly apply pressure with this Dark Goblin. Hopefully get quite a bit of chip damage on his tower. And look at that. Dark Goblin got some shots off. And Mega Knights are usually difficult for most decks, but this one takes it apart like cotton candy. I just set this Valkyrie down, set some guards down, and I have a log easy re easily ready for the Skeleton Barrel. Look at that. That whole push is just destroyed instantly. This deck is very good at defense. And later on in the match, we'll throw another Goblin Barrel. We just want to keep applying pressure so he's not able to build up big pushes, hopefully. And watch this deck's defense. I believe I will be able to take out this whole... Okay, Goblin Barrel coming in, but that's no big deal for our Dark Goblin. And we're already back to our Valkyrie because this deck is very good at cycling with those one of cards like Electro Spirit. And now we have a push in this lane that he's going to have to defend. Luckily, another Mega Knight, as I expected. We have an Inferno Tower down immediately, able to take that entire thing out. Seven for five, it is a great trade. And we'll keep applying pressure with this new Goblin Barrel. And I don't believe he has his log in cycle, so this Goblin Barrel should get quite a bit of damage, and it does. These Goblin Barrel chips, even if it's just one or two stabs from one or two Goblins, is huge. And look at this defense, this should be very easy. All we have to do is log, and I think we're gonna let the wizard get a few hits on our tower, just for the sake of elixir, and maybe some more chip damage on his side. Because now that the wizard's taken out, we can place the Dark Goblin, and it will get quite a bit of chip, and we can rocket this witch for a good value. 
You know what? I'm going to let this Goblin Barrel go because we have more damage on his tower and we are in a better scenario. But right here, he's building up quite a big of a push and I'm actually going to use the rocket to take out the push. Now, that damaged the Meganite quite a bit. It killed the Witch. Our Inferno Tower was able to take out their Inferno Dragon. Log their Goblin Barrel. This deck's defense is insane. Now, it looks like he's going to try to save the push with a mini Pekka, but we just placed our guards for another positive Elixir trade. And we are very much up. We're able to toss this Goblin Barrel. Hopefully, he doesn't have Log. But it appears he unfortunately does have the log, but that's no big problem. He's going to try to counter push with his Inferno Dragon, and the Dark Goblin, Electric Spirit Valkyrie, will easily be able to take this out. No problem at all. Valkyrie takes out the Skeleton Barrel, the Dark Goblin, and the Tower lock onto that Inferno Dragon. And now we have another counter push going. So right here, we're just going to place the Inferno Tower because I knew he was going to place the Mega Knight. So this should kill both the Mega Knight and the Wizard for an insane positive look trade. And we'll try to get a little bit of ship damage on the Tower with the Goblin Barrel again. All I have to do at this point, it's about to be triple elixir. I'm just going to keep chucking goblin barrels, hoping he doesn't have a log in cycle, trying to bait out his log with either the dark goblin or the guard, and then hopefully I will be able to just continuously goblin barrel and rocket cycle his tower down. Right now, he's in the range where I can throw two rockets and the tower will die, but I think I'm going to try my luck with this goblin barrel and throw a sneaky one where he'll miss the log. Okay, one goblin survives, and he does get a stab, which is huge because now all I have to do is throw two logs and a rocket, and I should be able to take this tower out. There's one log immediately. The Inferno Tower should take out the Mega Knight. Oh, okay, I'll place a Valkyrie. This is no big deal. I'll place guards on the wizard to try to take out the support troops while the Mega Knight's distracting my Valkyrie. And, okay, uh, we'll place an Inferno Tower here and a Goblin Barrel to distract the Mini Pekka. Okay, bad cow barrel throw, but that's alright because we have the rocket and the log in our cycle right now. So all we have to do is log and rocket, and this should be another one crown victory for log bait. Easily one of the best decks in the game still. I think if you're gonna run a deck, run log bait. It is still viable in this meta. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next video.